Hello members, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please help me share, subscribe and like so that every time a video is posted, you're able to be notified. So my name is Masi Apolot. I am from Tesla Subregion, Uganda, East Africa. So members, I am one of the nurses who have come out to volunteer due to economic hardships and no jobs in my country. I came up with this idea of opening this channel so that I can show you the things that happen in my community. Some of the conditions that are happening in my community. So members, today I came to Kumi. I came across one of the homes of Aguti, Sharon. So I am going to give you tips on the condition i'm going to give you a layout on the condition that she has been suffering so guys this is sharon sharon is one of the teenage mothers that we have in my community sharon is a girl who got a, who got disfigured when she was studying in one of the primary schools here in kumi she got a eye melanoma what do we know by eye melanoma Eye melanoma is one of the conditions that affects the eye and it happens due to uh, uh, due to an error in the DNA. So the mother says that some of the symptoms that she saw when she gave birth to this girl were that there was a, a tip in the cornea, then also it started swelling until it had to cover her face. Despite going to very many medical hospitals and moving around, they could not manage to treat the condition or even do a surgery. So members, today I want to show you Sharon here. She's a teenage mother with her sister and even the mother plus the father in the family. I am going to let the teacher first tell us what happened at school before the mother tells us what really happened in this family. So teacher, please give us what happened. Yeah, thank you members. I came across a booty. Sharon, when I came to teach in Kumi Boys Primary School, I got her in primary five. Uh, we fared on well. Her eye, one of her eyes had not yet completely disappeared due to that swelling. But in the course of, let's say, we had it together, she had that problem. She was academically bright, save for only that problem. During the COVID outbreak, she fell back home together with her sister. And now she's in the condition of actually a mother. She has even gotten a child. So she cannot get back to school. Can I continue? Yes, please. Yeah. While at school, she was very active in most of the activities, very social. Even at home, she's very social. Her hands, her legs are all in a stable condition. I'm sure she can do a lot of good work if she has a chance to be trained to do some practical work. Uh, given the fact that she has even had a kid now, I am even told that the boy with whom she had a kid has, you know, left her alone. So she's really suffering with her parents. Her father is also a disabled person. He can't, he can't actually afford to support Agoti Sharon and her children, who have her, both had it the children at home so that is the challenge thank you very much so members you heard from Aguti's teacher now we are going to hear from what the mother briefly what the mother has to say on what happened to this girl let the mother tell us something mm. Not a na bring I in at the kiss of me, no. He kissed a beran name. Look at the onion of a gay conga butuni, was a conga butuni. O give on a table over a barn and need to marry one up or tying pen a fight or lotto. In at a berebo, bale, not a tororo. Do you look for it on a tail, a decus mulago? Back or lemma berry kelang nuni guru, telling my ing at only carcanyar in a penny. So turned over a lolo. Mamuni do a rage out in a dole, bait or rake, chogor a rage out in a cale, Mamma Epone, Locana, I will buy a domo with Cocoda. I made a pole bait rang a rakina, say, I do better book as he are a care, do to say, I don't add money do or re. I made a bait pone care. So members, 
As the mother has said, despite having treatment in one of the hospitals in Kumi Hospital, Mbale Regional Referral, and even up to Mulago, there was still no help that was given to this mother. And indeed, there was no help. I want someone out there who is looking at this child to see how we can help. Despite the linkages we have done as nurses to link them to the hospital, but there still has been no help. So how can we help this girl as, as nurses and also you, the world out there? That is the question I should be asking you. Please comment in the comment section and give me your numbers, give me your likes, give me your comments so that I can manage to read and we can help out this girl. Please, thank you. So maybe let's hear what the father has to say.